That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. and you're a fellow veteran, so thank you for your service. We love our veterans here. So what kind of musical genre do you perform? Well, I play a little bit of everything, really. Um, you know, I play classic rock, folk, classic country, some pop. Uh, my classic rock artists are you know, Rolling Stones, Bad Company, Pink Floyd, Guns N' Roses, oh, Tom Petty, oh, wow. Dead, things like that. Country, I like uh, some Johnny Cash, George Strait, Alan Jackson, Waylon Jennings, you know, Conway yeah. Street, David Allen Coates. All the good ones. A lot of one. good country artists yes. uh, that have, have made so many uh, wonderful songs over the years, and I do enjoy singing them. And, uh, That's awesome. My folk, uh, my folk artists are, you know, Bob Dylan, of course. Yeah. Awesome John Prine, you know, Cat Stevens. Wow. And then uh, into the pop area. You know, I actually go over into uh, Frank Sinatra. Holy Elvis, cow. You know, uh, John Lennon. Uh, wow. Free trial, Billy Joel. Wow, that's awesome. That's quite a, a jump there. So how long have you been in the music industry? Well, I've been performing as a solo artist for about three decades. Wow. And uh, I've performed at over 150 places in, in central New York. Yeah. As well as different places throughout the country. Yeah. Uh, and wow. in Hawaii, too. Oh, my goodness. Um, I've been in various bands throughout my career. But uh, currently, I, I enjoy uh, performing as a solo artist. Um, you know, I've opened for national recording artists. So performed at Jim Neighbors Roast in Hawaii when he moved to Hawaii. And then I performed at Woodstock 99 as a local artist. Uh, so um, I had a rock trio a few years back, and uh, I sang lead and played uh, lead and rhythm guitar. And, uh, oh, wow. So I played a lot of dues over the years uh, and enjoyed uh, a good part yeah. of the Oh, my goodness. Um, do you come from a musical background? Like family, did you grow up? Well, uh, my parents were not musicians. Uh, my passion for playing music is something that I've always had. My first instrument was a harmonica that my mother gave me when I was probably about six years old. Or so. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I began my formal music education in fourth grade when I began playing the trumpet. I wanted to play the drums, but my father steered me towards something with less, <laughs> shall we say, volume. Uh, he probably foresaw with all that practice on the drums uh, what that would sound like in the house, you know. But I never had to be told to practice since I loved playing music. And, uh, I practiced for several hours a day for, for many years. Wow. Learning all the scales, every piece of sheet music uh, that I could get my hands on. Yeah. And uh, I'm completely self-taught on uh, guitar, five-string banjo, the ukulele, and the harmonica, but uh, I did get a lot of formal uh, musical education uh, at New Hartford High School. Uh, on the track. Oh, cool, cool. Um, so, because 
because you do such a wide variety of musical genre, when you're picking your sets, do you choose music for the intended audience, whether they're an older crowd or a younger crowd, or music that you like to do? Well, it's both, really. Uh, I don't have a predetermined set list, typically. I'll typically gauge my audience before the performance, you know, to determine what type of songs they're most likely to be into. Uh, I can usually pick up on the vibe of the crowd uh, right. uh, rather quickly, and then I'll, I'll tailor my performance accordingly. Uh, as the performance progresses, I'll include songs that are favorites of mine. Particularly fond of. And these will often be popular hits that the crowd will really enjoy also. Yeah. I try to make a soulful, uh, I guess you could say, a spiritual connection with people in, uh, in the audience to try and ensure a memorable evening. You know, try to create some magic, uh, some great memories. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so you opened for Blue Oyster Cult. Tell us about that experience and what was that like? Well, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, there was a packed house of about 600 people that night in a rock venue uh, that used to exist in Utica, New York called the Rainforest Preserve. Uh, I warmed up the crowd for about 45 minutes and uh, shared some great vibes with the people that were there that night. Wow. Tartek and I uh, hung out backstage after my performance and swapped rock and roll stories while he was preparing their instruments uh, for the concert. And then I, I did have the pleasure of meeting Bucky Dharma and the rest of the band. Uh, it's kind of interesting, uh, that night uh, uh, Bucky asked to borrow my guitar cable. He, uh, I guess maybe they forgot the package or something. So. Uh, he asked if he could use it to, uh, you know, to play uh, some of their hits, and he did use it on uh, one of their biggest hits, uh, "Don't Fear the Reaper." So uh, they put on a great concert. It was a lot of fun. Oh my God! What a great experience. <laughs> Were you younger when you first starting out when that happened? Um, that was probably uh, a couple decades ago. Yeah, so I was so kind of right in, in, in the middle of my career. Oh, that's so cool. Um, do you write and perform your own music? Well, I have written and recorded some of my own material. I wrote and recorded a TV theme song for a popular hunting and fishing show called the Northeast Great Outdoors. Uh, oh. That aired on the Outdoor Channel for uh, like 11 years. Wow. Yeah, uh, so was, uh, the song was uh, nominated for Best Original Music by the network's viewers. Uh, so uh, that was uh, uh, a very uh, wonderful time in my life. Yeah. And I've uh, also wrote and recorded a couple of songs around the time that I performed at Woodstock '99. And uh, one of them, uh, one of the titles was uh, "Millennium Man." But of course, getting ready to for the new yeah. millennium. Yeah. And the other one was uh, simply "Woodstock '99." Uh, they were both given a favorable review at the time by the Syracuse New Times newspaper. You know, my real forte and, and niche, though, is performing live, uh, singing popular hits, providing a pleasant party atmosphere for people that go out to have a good time. Yeah. Aww. So if you were given an opportunity, would you want or be interested in a major or independent label? Or not really? <laughs> well, I mean, I would certainly consider it. Uh, I have written some, uh, what I think are pretty good lyrics over the years, and uh, that combined with some interesting chord progressions, I think would probably equate to some decent recordings. Um, the thing uh, to keep in mind here is, you know, music and the music business are two completely separate entities. You know. By that I mean uh, that music in and of itself is typically spiritual, sublime, and even magical. Yeah. Uh, th that's the essence of it, the beauty of it, if you will. Right. The music business is all about making money. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, and that generally means uh, record companies, uh, either major or indie, and record executives making money. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
before they make an investment in somebody, uh, they need to know they're going to be able to make money on it. And if they do invest in you, uh, that typically equates to uh, touring, uh, you know, to pay back the, uh, the loan, uh, etc. Uh, you know, you have to pack houses, right. sell a lot of tickets. So uh, I don't know if I really want to make that journey. Uh, right. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you are a painter, too. Let's talk about your artwork because it's absolutely out of this world beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Oh my God, I just love it. So tell us about your artwork. What kind of tools do you like to use? Okay, well, uh, I'm predominantly a painter. Uh, I employ most of the mediums available today, including watercolor, uh, oil, uh, like, like Jimmy here has done in oh oil, God. and acrylic. Uh, I use a variety of brushes typically, and sometimes a palette knife. And I paint on canvas and masonite uh, when I'm using oils and acrylics. And then uh, I'll paint on high-grade cotton rag watercolor paper for my watercolors. The sizes of the paintings vary. Uh, my subject matter varies. I've painted portraits, landscapes, still lifes, uh, urban scenes, and sometimes wildlife. So oh my I've accepted commissions over the years and uh, have a few lined up uh, currently. Oh, good. Oh, because it is. This is one of them. It's, I just love it. I just Thank love you. it. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So, you like to be referred to as a painter, not an artist. Um, did you go to school to be an artist, or are you a natural born, gifted, talented artist? Oh, well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great question, Allison. Um, I have not taken formal college courses per se, um, but I have attended various uh, workshops okay. over the years uh, with internationally acclaimed artists, uh, including Frank Webb. A wonderful Chinese gentleman named Chen Qi Chi, and also Don Getz, uh, who's best known for his Adirondack National Exhibition of American Watercolors oh. posters up in uh, Old Forge in upstate. Yes, yes. So uh, I also studied watercolor painting for many years uh, with an upstate New York legend named Ralph Murray from Waterville. He's a very fine gentleman. Uh, his work is highly prized and sought after today. Uh, we became great friends. Um, but I, I'm very well versed in art history and art technique. I've, yeah. I've probably read several hundred books on art over the years. Wow. Great. So how did you become involved in doing art when you are a musician? What came first? The, mu the music? I've always had a passion for both, as far back as I can remember. Um, you know, that whole right side of the brain thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, my life in art uh, came around the same time as music, really. Um, both started in my childhood. Um, as a boy, uh, some of my spare time would be divided between, you know, practicing my trumpet and drawing. Uh, I used to draw things like uh, the Peanuts characters, yeah. horses, uh, you know, trees, eagles, landscapes, and uh, oh locomotive trains. Uh, in perspective, of course, I enjoyed that as they diminished, and I, I started learning and studying perspective even as a boy, you know. Also, I can remember, I think it might have been like sixth grade, uh, doing a colored pencil a beach scene uh, using the uh, pointillist technique of pointillism, um, where you place small dots of color side by side to form an image, uh, reminiscent of uh, George, George Surratt and uh, Paul, Paul Sinead. If you could have dinner with any three people, dead or alive, who would you be? Who would you choose? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Wow. Okay. Let me think about that for a second. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, Leonardo da Vinci would have to be one of them. Oh, yeah. There's no question about that. Yeah. Um, I think maybe uh, Jim Morrison would be interesting. Yeah. And... Uh, Maybe uh, Paul McCartney. Wow, all good ones. 
That's a hard that question. Would, that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. that would be. Um, and where can people find you, your art, your music? Well, uh, I think the best place right now, uh, until I get my website up, I, I am in the process of building my website, which will be uh, jimsin.com. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, though, I think the best place would be to check out my Facebook pages. Um, uh, Jim Sin and also my personal uh, Facebook page. And then, of course, you can uh, see some of my artwork at my gigs sometimes if you come to my live performances. And, uh, Absolutely. Of course, you can hear my music there. Um, and I have some uh, vids on YouTube as well. Oh, awesome. Now, on your it's Jim, J-Y-M-S-Y-N. That's your mus musician site, right? Yes, that's correct. Do you list your events on that so people can follow you? And Yes, I do. Yes, uh, all my upcoming and past events are all listed on there. So uh, people can check that out to see where I'll be playing in the coming weeks ahead. Beautiful. As well as uh, check out some of the places I've played over the past several years. Very good. Time for a game. We like to play games on this show, Jim. Well, we're gonna okay, play. I'm all up for that. Let's play some games here. We're gonna play Never Have I Ever. <laughs> uh, uh oh, okay. You have you ever played? I have not played this game, but I'm looking forward to it, okay? It's, it's basically like Truth or Dare without the dare. Uh -huh. you, you pick a card. I'm going to play with you because I like to embarrass uh, okay. myself as well. Well, fair enough. And we just answer, never have I or have I. Okay. You want me to go first? Sure, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, never have I ever been high at work. <laughs> no, people, we, we don't promote that here on Hanging With Web. No. <laughs> okay, never have I ever been so messed up I couldn't remember where I live. <laughs> well, I probably have, but I just can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. Let's see. Never have I ever laughed so hard I peed myself. Not really come close. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. One well, more, Harry. I think close counts. <laughs> close counts. <laughs> Okay. Only in horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> okay, never have I ever hooked up with a politician. Nah. <laughs> no, that's not my game, politics. No. Not me. One more? Oh, wrap it up. I want to do one more because this is funny Please shit. Do. Ready? All right. Never have I ever <clears throat> shaved my Really? Oh, well. No. I can't <laughs> okay. say that. Fair enough. <laughs> well, guys, we've had a whole lot of fun hanging with Jim today. I'm Allison Murray, but before we go, we would like to give a very special thank you to our partners. Um, Crip Down Radio out of LA, Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed, Embellish FX out of Orlando, Florida. Without them, we could not do what we do. These are the folks that share our videos all over the world wide web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.
together, baby, love me, honey, bills. Spent the night in Utah, hit a cave up in the hills. Listen now, honey, baby, take my time, a friend of the devil, a friend of mine. If I get home for daylight, I just might get some sleep tonight.